Hello YouTube, this is Bruce with TheBalloonWorld.com and uh, I have another video I'd like to show you tonight and um, I started making this little fish today uh, I saw it in a picture, I can't remember exactly where I saw it but I saw it in a picture, I started to make it and right in the middle I said well I better maybe I'll just make a video of this so it's not kind of quite done but this is where we're headed with the fish um, we've got two orange 260's blown up three and a half pumps with the one way Qualitex pump I always use that like I said because uh, my ears blow out with the other one. Got a 5-inch uh, round white that I made for eyes. It's already divided into two sections. And then two <clears throat> goldenrod 160s blown up um, till about 3 inches, 3 fingers from the end. And then a clear 260 uh, blown up, just not very much. Plenty of tail. We're just going to make a bunch of small twists for that one. So let's get started. First thing to do is to we're going to start with the tail and do a pretty simple weave with the uh, orange balloons. Start by making two bubbles about three inches long. Turn them up. <laughs> That's not a very good start, is it? About three inches long on both of them. So they're the same length. Turn them end to end. And then, sorry about that. Turn them end to end and then wrap the ends around a couple of times on the first one and do the same thing on the second one. And then you can bring them through the middle to, to lock them off like that. Okay, so we start off like that and then now we're going to do the simple weave and it's real important that these bubbles on the sides be the same size. They're one inch, as close as I can get them to one inch bubbles. And then as you do the weave across, make the next bubble just a little bit, maybe another half an inch wider and the one above it. Twist these through together like that. Turn it over. Bring the bring the other balloon back across. Again, this is just a simple weave. Bring it back across and then just push it through like you like you're doing a bird body. And um, there you go, just like that. That starts our weave. Now we're just going to do the same thing till the balloon runs out. Probably about five different layers. Do the one inch bubble and again i just can't emphasize how important it is to try to make your bubbles uh, on the side exactly the same size as close as you can so you'll have a so you'll have a good um, even looking fish body and bring this across like you did the last time pinch the same size bubble and then push it through just like that and then another one inch bubble on both sides, one inch on this side, alright, and then come across one more time on this one, a little bit longer, looks like we may only get four out of this one, let's see what we can do here, and then bring it back across, same size, push it through, let's see, lost that one, push it through, and there you go, let's try to get one more, here we can do that. Bring this across, maybe not. Okay, so we're through right there. We're just going to make a little short fish this time. Um, so make a one-inch bubble at the bottom to uh, to end the, the fish body right there, like that, and then make a pinch twist. So just pull the tail, pull the tail right down here, and turn this into a pinch twist and hide the knot, just like that. Okay, and the same thing on the other side. Make another one-inch bubble. Tear it off, tie it off, and then make a pinch twist by pulling the nozzle down close to the other end, and then uh, making your pinch twist. So that's what we've got. We just got a little short fish this time, a little one one layer smaller than the other. So here's the tail end, here's the head end, and there we go. Now take your uh, goldenrod 160 and wrap it around one of the pinch twists couple of times and hide the nozzle. And then this is how we're going to create the, uh, the lips and the mouth on the top in, on the top come up. And then you want to make four flower petals uh, just about the same size. If they, if they vary a little bit, that's fine. Um, you, can, you can pick out the ones that are close to the same size when, uh, when you get it done. Just mix them and twist them a little bit right here so they stay together. We'll straighten those out in a couple of minutes. And then 
that's going to come right along the side here. And then let's make another twist here for the eyes to go in between, make it easier to set the eyes in. And then um, the rest of the way up and wrap this around a pinch twist on the top. Just like this. Bring that around a couple times like that. And there. Uh, and then what we're going to do, as you'll see right here, we're just going to create the fish lips and the cheeks. So you can see right there we've got lips and cheeks. Okay? And then while we're at it, we can just take the eyes, push them through right here, and just let them sit right there in between um, that little pinch that we made in there. Okay, so there's our, uh, our eyes and, and our fish. Now, in order to make a fin on the back of this little guy, um, just make a little fin like this and pinch it here. And then I just like to, I can just, you just bring it through one time. Bring it through right here around this little pinch twist and that will make your fin on the top. And we can, we can shape that in just a minute. And then, in order to make the tail, I just pinch off a little tiny bubble here and twist that into the same place on the bottom that you did the, uh, when you brought it through on the top, right here down at the bottom. And um, bring it through a couple of times and you can let it kind of leave it inside if you like and, uh, and hide that little thing. Okay? So there we go, we got that. And then what you can also do is you can pinch this down here like this. The tail, is, there's some options with the tail. You can make it, you know, ways that you want to. But I just take it like this and bring it through and uh, make my little tail, shape the tail just a little bit. And there you go. Okay, and then with the top, I'm just gonna bring this back and again, uh, pinch it off or pinch it if you were in order to shape it a little bit and put a little bit of an angle, put a little bit of an angle on the uh, on the top pin. Okay, so just one thing left of our little, and then we'll just uh, use our other yellow. Uh, and just a little ways, you know, we're gonna miss and then tie it through here that, get rid of the rest, and I'll just use this to tie it together, tie this little, uh, sorry, get my camera right here, tie that together, and then get the exact, get the same length on it like that, and twist it, so we've got a little two inches, and then just slide that right through here, right between the, uh, the first and second largest bubbles that you made in your weave, and then um, I bring it down. Nestling those we got. See, there we go. And you've got your these fins, just a little not too much. The finny. And uh, and there's our little fish. And that's to top it off with a little bit of Sharpie art on the eyes. But that's a really nice little fish to make um, it fast if you can do the weave fast. And uh, turns out really nice. So um, there you go. Give that a try and um, hopefully it'll uh, give you some ideas and be new. Oh, oh, one thing I forgot. One thing I like to do with these two is I like to clear balloons. Sorry, this is the most important thing, maybe. Just tie that to the mouth. A whole bolt like this. Uh, they don't have exactly the same size, but make a few, a few bubbles like this. And then every once in a while, you want to tie them in together so they don't come undone. A couple more bubbles like this, just, just making. Quick little one, one half inch bubbles. And uh, tie those in one more time. And then break off. I'm gonna tie off the end of this little guy like that. And I'll use some scissors and suck this. And then straighten this out. Straighten the lips out, straighten the cheeks out. Just like that. You've got yourself a little fish uh, blowing bubbles. The bubbles coming out of it, and that seems to be uh, well. And it's a nice little addition to this, uh, this little fish. There you go. Thanks very much. This is Bruce from BalloonWorld.com.